Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sandeep Sharma, Pediatric Super Speciality Faculty at Prep Ladder. And with the INASS results out, we have the top ranker with us. Yes, rank number one. We have Dr. Shahan Iqbal. He has got rank one in INI Super Speciality in Pediatric Pulmonology. So it can't get better than this. And it is my privilege to invite him to this interview. So Dr. Iqbal, congratulations and welcome to this interview. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. It's my privilege that I have come up with an interview. Up first, with you. first of all, please tell us about your background, your UGPG and what place you belong to. Yeah, sure, sir. Sir, actually, I belong to a small town of JNK by the name of Badarwa. I got selected in 2013 um, batch as a MBBS student in GMC Sarnagar, sir. I have completed my... Uh, MBBS from GMC Sirnagar. Then after completing MBBS in 2020, I uh, wrote my PG exam and I got MD Pediatrics in Skims, Saura, sir. Uh, in the same institute, uh, I have completed that uh, degree in 2023. And then after that same institute, I continued as senior resident. Now I am presently, I am continuing as senior resident in Skims. And after this, you will be continuing as DM senior resident in Ames. <laughs> Hopefully, sir, inshallah. Yes, yes. Awesome, awesome. Please tell us a bit more about your journey. Like, uh, when did you actually start thinking that, okay, I should be preparing? And uh, what what was your game print and what was your game plan? For this actually, exam? sir, I was, uh, initially, I was oriented that I have to give my DM. There was no confusion about that. Once I was in my PG, but uh, that time I focused only on my clinical skills and my basic uh, Nelson textbook reading, sir. Mm -hmm. Then after, once I completed my post-graduation, uh, actually, sir, we have uh, a good fa faculty. Uh, uh, our our uh, actually is also from EJ Chandigarh, Dr. Mushtaq Ahmed Bhatt, sir. And mm -hmm. we had also opportunity of being with Dr. Javed Iqbal, sir, who is the pediatric pulmonologist here, sir. So the, they always uh, gave a boost to go for the higher studies, sir. Uh, but uh, once I finished the MD and I uh, joined senior residency, during that time period, sir, I uh, started, actually, uh, we had a gap of three months, sir. That time, I gave my first INI, uh, this NEAT assessor, NEAT mm -hmm. assessor. And I got a good rank that time also, within uh, less than 200, it was within 170s, something like that. But uh, since I had joined here as senior resident, so I continued that, sir. Uh, then uh, after that, I, I didn't give sir any uh, need, and I was fortunate uh, enough this year that I got uh, uh, to have we got to have the uh, Mr. Suji Singh sir sir uh, from PJ Chandigarh mm. uh, for our MD outgoing MD examination. So sir gave me that boost. Uh, I interacted with sir. Sir encouraged me to that you should go for that. Till then, I was using sir uh, prep letter as a uh, primary module but i had not uh, subscribed to any uh, this uh, plan but uh, daily test I, I, I was giving that prep letter daily mm. test i was giving that sir mm. and this the, this year i had the plan that i will uh, buy the prep letter plan and then i will go for uh, one year complete drop and i will uh, do inshallah this but i was fortunate enough that i could crack this in the first time. Seems like all the things falling into to get into place together. Maybe the Almighty, maybe Allah wanted you to sit and crack this exam because you had the situation turning out like this. And then Sujit sir, uh, for those who don't know, Sujit sir is my teacher also at PGI. Sujit sir was head of pediatric uh, rheumatology and uh, during my time and later sir became HOD. And once upon a time. Sir, actually, kind of almost 99%, I'm very difficult to brainwash. Sir, brainwashed me into, you know, sitting in the exam, saying, you are training students, why don't you sit in the exam yourself? And sir was like, later on, it was very difficult for me to convince myself, no, I've crossed that line. It is now, I'm more of a teacher rather than, you know, uh, sitting in the exam and being a student myself. But sir is an absolute legend about it, yes, no sir. doubt. Of course. So and and the people whose name you have taken, I I have not met them personally, but yes, they are very very uh, again legendary people. Uh, not just you, but even your seniors who have been selected from Skims. I know a few of them, and they are like doing great in their lives, and they have also taken the same name. So I hope to meet them again someday. So please tell us more about your journey. Like what were the resources you found useful 
if someone wants to prepare for INISS pulmonology, pediatric pulmonology? Sir, I, I think uh, first and foremost uh, job is that we have to give our clinics very thoroughly and very you know patiently, rather religiously, sir. Hmm. If you don't know clinics, then you cannot crack INISS. I, uh, I am of that belief, sir. Because hmm. uh, what I have seen in the exam, besides those 10, 20 questions who are uh, factual questions or something trials, other questions are all uh, clinics and scenario based, sir. If you had given postings, you have managed patients, you can easily do that. This is my sir, first point. Hmm. Secondly, sir, since I was uh, lagging in time, I had got, I, I, I was left with only two, two to three months, sir, rather two, two and a half months only. Hmm. So I decided uh, to just uh, rope up on prep letter, test series. But since I, I was left with two months, so I was very afraid whether I, I could complete that also. So I didn't buy any test series, but I was giving my daily uh, prep letter test series, sir. That helped me a lot. That was actually guiding me from where the questions are, from at what points you have to consider more. Other than that, sir, uh, actually, I uh, I am doing uh, since my senior residency uh, and I was posted in pediatric pulmonology as well. So I was continuously giving my OPDs and, uh, you know, uh, I was following the CMEs and uh, uh, latest guidelines or latest on pulmonology. So that was also a source. And uh, the main, main, uh, main thing was I, I had read Nelson very thoroughly during my PG. I just revised that as well, sir. I think all those combined together and I could do this. Awesome. And what about any additional resource? Do you need anything specific for Palmo? Well, I think, sir, uh, you, you should be very thorough with the, uh, especially chronic spiritual lung dis disorders like PCD. What are the new changes? Whether mm -hmm. some new treatments have come up, CF, especially those mm -hmm. uh, CFT mo CFTR modulators, is very important. They mm -hmm. keep on asking you that. And uh, CF related disorders, uh, mm -hmm. metabolic disorders, that those sure. those points are very important, sir. And uh, especially GINA is very important. You have to update yourself every year with GINA, sir. And GINA comes every year now. Yeah, GINA, <laughs> sir. Yes. Uh. Yes, awesome. And what about biostats? Like, did you uh, sir, I was lucky course? enough that uh, uh, actually I got uh, from oh, some online platform. I was lucky enough to get uh, some test series for uh, this uh, biostat only, sir. Because I was, I was thinking that if you like, I will go for a book, then I will not be able to complete this in two months. So I just uh, wrap up on that uh, test series. There were almost a hundred questions. I do that religiously, and, and I. Just uh, you know, sir, revise them, and I was fortunate enough I could crack all the uh, these uh, uh, questions of biostatics in INI, sir. Great. What about department assessment? How did it go? Uh, yeah, department as assessment was sir very actually new for me. I had never given an online interview and that to faculty of such uh, caliber. So I was very nervous sir, for that departmental assessment. Actually, I, I was I, actually I had applied for prep letter uh, so that I could get some uh, earlier insights how to give. But uh, I, I, I actually prep letter didn't, didn't come up with that, sir. You know, departmental that online interview. I had given that. For, I had got the link, but I, I was not able to do that, sir. So I was very sir nervous for that, and I mystically joined uh, two minutes before that. So I just once I joined, there was uh, interview was going on, and I skipped that again. Then once I joined, sir told me I had you not given some interview before. I thought I said sir this is my first time, so I was not knowing that we have to join at exact time. So it was a good uh, those only topics sir uh, uh, basic topics like eosinophilic lung disorders like vasculitis, you know, granulomatous with polyangiitis, topics like that, case scenario based on those uh, tuberculosis trials, new trial that was asked, sir, CF, uh, exacerbation criteria were asked, sir. one question was from Biostat, it was all, sir, whatever I had come in uh, theory exam, almost that rooted around that, sir, and, around that. and uh, like uh, how much, like you've given the need assess also. You were telling yes, me sir, uh, once I completed my post graduation, we were left with two months, sir. And uh, our joining here in Sikkims was also postponed for two months because uh, the SRs were leaving after two months. Mm -hmm. So that time I didn't prepare anything. I just went, uh, I just gave my this PG exam and went home, sir. 
and uh, came back joined here and then i give the uh, uh, neat ss and based on my pg knowledge i was able to crack uh, i was able to do go to crack a good good score sir but i think those 10 questions are five seven questions if i would have done a proper revision that time i could i i will say that i i could have done that easily as well sir that time great but uh, you have touched like the pinnacle uh yes neat ss is is a standard exam of course but inss and that also rank one i think i don't think it can get better than this you are so, so kind sir you are so kind for saying that yes yes so uh, like somebody has not done well and somebody has about 6 months what's your view if 6 months you give in a concentrated way can people still crack it what are yes, the things one should keep in mind I think, sir, my example is for those people only because I have started just two and a half months before, hmm. and I think if you have zeal, if you have that uh, potential, you can do that. Only thing is, you have to be concentrated. You should have given your uh, postings very well. You should be thorough with uh, your clinics, and obviously, those uh, online platforms are going to help you a lot because they are they are made. uh by keeping in the mind from where the questions are asked so that is very important sir very important i think great great so uh like dr ikbal uh this success could not have been possible without the contribution of many people many other uh, you know you can call them as people call them as forces like who are the people you want to really thank this success for dedicate this success to any shout outs sir after my almighty allah uh, his beyond his support i could not have done anything so i would like to thank my god firstly then after that my parents obviously sir they have been my pillars sir during each and every exam they have been my pillars they keep me encouraging that you should go on you you can do anything so as obviously my parents sir then my uh, younger brothers as well sir so i i would like to thank them as well then my staff sir especially my uh, uh, javed sir was my guide mm. he was my more than a mentor he was my friend he was he was looking after me like a brother he had taught me whatever i have achieved this uh, in this exam i think i will i would like to give whole credit to my guide dr javed igbal sir and uh, obviously my hod as well sir because sir had been a factory of knowledge sir any recent updates any recent guidelines i would have, would teach us in our round sir so i would i would like to thank both of them sir you have made everyone so proud like it can't get better than this and it is kind of you know humbling moment as well that you look back reflect thank the people and then a very bright future uh, and the foggy evenings of delhi await you <laughs> of course it will be uh cold there as well at kashmir but uh, yeah sir so very soon you will be joining here so a wonderful department a wonderful group of people await you here and on behalf of the entire preparatory team i wish you all the best may you achieve pinnacles of success and may you become the top pediatric pulmonologist uh, of the country and make everyone proud you have already made everyone proud but may you achieve even more success for so wishing you thank, thank you for your kind words sir wishing you all the best just before you uh, leave uh, would you be uh, recommending prep ladder to your juniors sir obviously obviously prep ladder uh, prep ladder has been uh, somewhere my backbone because i think those daily daily test series those daily one topic which i was getting on prep ladder in these 3 months as well they were somewhere stimulating me that you no know, i was scoring good so they were saying me you no know, you are you are somewhere in the race so i think prep ladder guides you you should you should have you should have sir subscription for prep ladder awesome awesome so take care uh, dr ikbal and congratulations to your family and to your mentors also on behalf of the team and... sir, I, i would like to at the end i would like to thank you as well sir i have watched a lot of videos of you as well sir on youtube you were sir new series that uh, you did for this neat ss those five test series sir i have done that also it was very okay. great sir that also encouraged me sir thanks a lot for your effort as well thank you dr ikbal thank you so much for for those kind words and uh, yes maybe uh, some day we'll catch up in delhi in one sir, of the conferences actually, uh, this year we had the seats only in pgi chandigarh so i would be joining okay you'll be joining in pgi great yeah, sure. great great yes, once you join over there um i keep dropping into pgi so very soon we are going to 
run into each other inshallah sir hopefully hopefully absolutely inshallah. absolutely there is no doubt so yes, see you take care god bless you and uh, thank you so much for your valuable time thank you sir thank you thank you very much sir thank it's you. my honor sir to speak with you thank you